Welcome to the clubhouse! Hi friends! Welcome to the clubhouse! I'm Nikki and I'm so glad you're here today! You got here just in time! One of my stuffed animals, Cooper, is sick! Oh, I don't like it when my friends don't feel well! But thankfully, I have this doctor kit I'm gonna use to help Cooper feel better. But so far, I haven't seen any change. I tried to give him a Band-Aid and some vitamins, and I took his temperature, and I did a whole checkup, but he's still not feeling great. What should I do? Hmm. You know, I just remembered we've been learning about how Jesus does miracles. Do you remember what miracles are? Great job! A miracle is something amazing that can only happen with God's power. I might not be able to figure out why Cooper is sick, but God knows and God can take care of Cooper. Hey, why don't we pray to God right now? Dear Jesus, please help my friend Cooper. He's feeling sick. Please heal him. Amen. Thanks for praying with me, friends. You know what? That actually reminds me of today's big idea. Jesus is able to do anything. Let's say that together. Jesus is able to do anything. Great job! Nothing is too hard for Jesus to do. And Jesus loves us so much, He wants to do miracles for us. He wants to show us His love. That's why we can be thankful no matter what happens. Because Jesus is with us and Jesus is able. <gasps> hey, did you hear that song? You know what that means. It's adventure time. Let's get our adventure goggles and our adventure hats and go on an adventure with Bryce. It's adventure time! Adventurers, it is so good to see you. Welcome to Adventure Time. I need your help today. I received a call from Wildlife Rescue that there are some bears on the loose and they need us to gather them together and put them back in their habitat. Will you help me catch the bears today? I heard that they're hiding inside this giant orb behind me. So it may be a little challenging, but we're gonna have an adventure. What do you say? If you'll help me today, can you yell, yeah, on three, one, two, three, let me hear it, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, adventures. Let's go catch the bears. <sighs> Let's see here. Oh, they're inside this orb. I think I need to find an entrance that I can get in. Oh, adventures, I see one down here. It should be pretty easy to grab. Let's see if we can be quick. Boom, we got it. Adventures, look. Oh, wait, there's something inside. Look, it's a little card. And the card, oh, no way. The card is a prayer. And the prayer says, God, thank you for being able to do anything. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, for being able to do anything. That is so amazing. I'm gonna put this bear in my bag and we're gonna see if we can catch the other loose bears. One second, adventurers. Here we go. Let's see if we can catch some more bears. Let's see here. I see one here. You see that blue bear? Yeah? We need to grab the blue bear. He's gonna be the next rescue, okay? Here we go. It's coming around, adventurers. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. Ah, got him. Ah, got him, that was close. Whoa, and he also has a card inside. Look at him, he's so pretty. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna go and see what the card says. It's another prayer, adventurers. It says, Jesus, thank you 
for all of my friends. That's you all. You're all of my friends. Jesus, thank you so much for my adventures. You all make my adventures so much fun. I'm gonna put this guy in the bag with the other and let's see if we can catch this last bear. All right, come with me, adventurers. Let's see. I see him over there. You see the pink one? All right, let's see if we can catch the pink bear, adventurers. Let's see. Oh, that was close. I almost got my arm caught in there. All right, let's see if we can get him out. I think he's trapped. Here he comes, he's coming around. How fast can we be, adventurers? How fast can we be? Got him, we got him. And there's something attached to him. Look, adventurers, it's our pink bear. And he also has a card inside. We'll figure out what this is in a moment. But I wanna read this card. Oh, it says, Jesus, thank you so much for the playground. Yes, Jesus, thank you so much for the playgrounds. Jesus has given us so many playgrounds that we have played on this year and had so much fun while being safe. I am definitely grateful and I'm sure you are too. Now let's put this bear away and I am excited to find out what this note says. I wonder what this bear was protecting so bravely. Let me see here, we're gonna open it up. Oh, adventures, this is such a great memory verse. We need to mail this to Nikki immediately. I cannot wait for her to read this out loud. Adventurers, I've had so much fun with you today rescuing the bears and also just thanking Jesus for so many great things he's done for us. Nothing is impossible with him and he has given us so much to be grateful for and continues to every day. Why? Because he cares about us. He cares about you and he loves you so much. So never forget to thank him. Adventurers, I'm gonna go mail this off to Nikki because we need to learn what this memory verse says. And I will see you next time right here on Adventure Time. Bye, have fun at the playground. Wow, friends, great job adventuring with Bryce. Those bears were so fun. And I loved the prayers you prayed together. That was so powerful. They meant a lot to me, and I know they meant a lot to Jesus, too. And look, we got a package from Bryce. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, look, he sent me a prayer bear and our memory verse. Our memory verse is 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Did you know giving thanks is actually a form of prayer? Prayer is simply talking to God. And when you tell Jesus thank you, you're talking to Him. This verse reminds me that God loves when we talk to Him. He wants us to tell Him when we need something, but He also wants us to tell Him when we're happy. No matter what we face, God wants us to talk to Him about what we need and about what we're grateful for. <gasps> Did you hear that song? You know what that means. It's time to find out what's inside the mystery box. Let's get out our magnifying glasses and go see what Jerry is doing today. What's inside the mystery box? What's inside the mystery box? What's inside the mystery box? Do you want to know? It's so great to see you today. You know, I'm so glad you're here because I could really use your help. You know, I can't find the mystery box and I was just having this dance party and I kind of lost track of it. Oh, where could it be? Is it over here? 
Oh, no, it's not. It's not over there. Is it over here? Uh, oh, no, I don't see it. Where could it be? Oh, hey, wait a minute. I remember the mystery box was gonna take a nap somewhere. And I bet that's where it went. And you know what? I think we can get the mystery box here by asking it to wake up, please, as loud as you can. What do you think, friends? Will you help me wake up the mystery box? I think it's gonna appear right here. Oh, you will? Okay, you're the best. Let me move this so we can see it. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Say, wake up, please. Oh, yay, you did it. Great job, friends. Okay, how should we unlock the box today? Those are some great ideas I hear. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I like that idea. Hey, I think we should try to jump up and down like they said. What if we tried jumping up and down to help the mystery box not be so sleepy? What do you think? Maybe that will unlock the box. Here we go, let's try it. Ready? <gasps> wake up, wake up. <gasps> wow, that works. Way to go. We unlocked the box and now let's sing the mystery box song to find out what's inside. Ready? Sing with me. What's inside the mystery box? What's inside the mystery box? What's inside the mystery box? Can we open it? Oh wow, this is so cool. It's a doll and look, oh, it's got a name. Its name is Tabitha. Do you know anyone named Tabitha? Hey Tabitha. Oh, hey, you know what? I just remembered there's a story in the Bible about a woman named Tabitha just like this doll. Hi, Tabitha. Now, Tabitha was a very kind woman. She did lots of nice things for the people around her. But one day, she got very sick and she died. Everyone was so sad. They missed her so much and they missed how kind and helpful she was. But Jesus's friend Peter was nearby. So people asked him to come and pray over Tabitha. So Peter came and prayed over Tabitha. Then he did something that seemed really crazy. He told her to get up. But guess what? That's when something even crazier happened. She woke up. Tabitha woke up. Tabitha was alive. Jesus raised her from the dead and nobody could see Jesus. But that didn't stop Jesus from working through Peter Jesus' miracle, his working power, was inside of Peter. And guess what? It's also inside of each of us. Isn't that so cool? Jesus wants to use us to tell others about him. Nothing is too hard for Jesus to do. And you know what? I'm so glad I got to spend today with you learning about Tabitha. Thank you for helping me learn more about Jesus and his power. You know, there's a friend in my life who could use some prayer right now. So I'm gonna go take Tabitha to them and tell them about what Jesus can do. Thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you next week. Bye everyone. Come on, Tabitha, let's go. Maybe we should bring our boom box with us. Oh, boom, boom, ba, boom. Wow, I loved what you and Jerry found in the mystery box today. That was a special gift, and I love the story Jerry shared. It makes me want to learn more about Tabitha. Let's go learn more about her right now. Come on! Slapstick Theater Tabitha This is Tabitha. Oh, hi! Tabitha lived in Israel in a town called Joppa. Tabitha believed in Jesus, she was always doing kind things for people. Here you go. And helping the poor. This is for you. She would make clothes for people. For you. Thank you. And was loved by many in her town. God did a miracle in her life, and many people believed God because of what happened in her life. What a powerful story. Jesus raised someone from the dead and he used his friend Peter to do it. Peter wasn't super special, he just loved Jesus. He loved being Jesus's friend 
And Jesus loved Peter. That's why he chose Peter to do a miracle. Jesus can do anything through someone who loves him. Just like Jesus healed Tabitha, Jesus is able to do big miracles for us. Nothing is too hard for him. And that's why we can be thankful. We know that Jesus is able. Even if we don't see Jesus do something right away, we can still trust him. We can trust and believe for big things because he is able. Hey, that makes me think of our big idea. Let's say it together again one more time. Jesus is able to do anything. Great job. Jesus loves us so much and he wants to show his love for us. He wants to do miracles in us and through us. And the best part is when Jesus does miracles in our lives, it causes others to trust in him. Nothing is too hard for Jesus to do. Let's pray and talk to Jesus right now. Jesus, you are so big and strong. I'm so thankful you can do anything. This week, help me to believe and trust in you no matter what. Amen. Great job praying, friends. Jesus loves you so much and He is always with you. He loves when you show how generous you are. We had so much fun together today. Do you know there are fun games, questions, and coloring pages waiting for you? Ask your grown-up to go to churchhome.org slash kids for so much more. We love you and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.